Proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story as proudly we hail the United States Army. Our story is entitled, One of the Boys. Proudly we hail the food service program of the United States Army, bearing the stamp of quality, variety, abundance. Food prepared by experts with care and imagination. Each meal planned to make the American soldier the best fed soldier in the world. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment. But first, what's your interest? Is it radio, photography, motor mechanics, metalwork? If you'd like to learn a highly skilled, well-paid trade like pharmacy, watch repairs, photography, motor mechanics, or electronics, there's no better place to learn than in the United States Army. The Army offers training in dozens of highly specialized jobs, jobs that will pay you well for the rest of your life. Many veterans have already used their Army training and experience to build profitable careers for themselves. Out of the skills the Army taught them, you can do the same. Visit your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station today. Talk it over and find out what's in it for you when you serve your country as an American soldier. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production, One of the Boys. I want to do for the rest of the night. Yeah. Delicious. You found a home in the army, Jeffers. <laughs> you can say that again and again. Hey, Lucas, how about tonight? Fresh we... orange juice, bacon and eggs, oatmeal, coffee and toast, soup, ham, steaks, <laughs> garnished with parsley, mashed potatoes, peas, mint jello, topped with whipped cream. Fresh vegetables. Hey, what, 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 what in the heck are you doing? Remember what we had for lunch, Naylor? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Uh, soup with croutons, chicken a la king, uh, peas. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, French fried potatoes, salad, lemon meringue, pie. But, but why are uh, you writing it all down? Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. Now what? Just a book. Haven't you ever seen a book before? Uh... Guide to Nutritious Foods and Balanced Diet. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, that's all right. I can understand you reading a food book. Personally, I enjoy detective stories. Uh, let's check. 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 Oh, I've seen it all now. Check it out. <laughs> you know something, Naylor? Huh? A balanced diet doesn't mean just one meal. You figure it by what you've eaten for the whole day. Sure, sure, fine, yeah. Army meals are well-balanced. All the proper vitamins, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, meats, dairy products, the right amount of calories. Is that what you get from that book? Yeah, it's important to know. I've been getting along all right so far. Now don't you understand, Naylor? Your body needs certain foods to remain healthy, strong, withstand any kind of physical strain. I don't understand any of those fancy words. All I know is the Army child tastes good. I can get as much as I want. I feel good. Well, What's it's not like... as simple as that for me. You're certainly a bug on food, Lucas. Well, I've got my reason. I, I watch in a dining hall sometimes. If you're all alone, and every bite is going to be your last. <laughs> is that what I look like? That's funny. You're so serious when you eat. How come? Most guys take it for granted. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you sometime. Huh? I guess there's no use asking you. Asking me what? There's a good show at the Post Theater. I thought maybe it was... Oh, I know. You're going swimming. Huh? Well, I've got to keep in condition. Keeps my weight just about right. 
But day after day, uh, how do you do it? Don't you get tired sometimes, Lucas? Nope. <laughs> Maybe I ought to be more like you. Put your heart and soul in everything you do. Different things happen to different people. Makes them the way they are. Sure beats me. After the full trainer we have, then you got to go off. I'm going to follow you sometime. See if you really go to the pool. Well, why don't you? When? How about now? Okay, Lucas. I'll take you up on that. Too late for the show anyway. Well, that does it, Lucas. Uh, swim a couple of lengths and call it quick. Okay, Sergeant. A couple of lengths? You already swam the pool about 30 times. Uh, Sergeant Fortney couldn't stop me if he wanted to, Lou. Why not? You've been going at it without a break for more than an hour. Should have seen me when I came into the Army two years ago. <laughs> I collapsed after a couple of lengths. Gee, that's hard to believe after watching you the way you plow through the water. Well, a lot of reasons for that. The good child gives you lots of room to burn up energy. I'm in the best condition of my life. Oh, sure, so am I. That's what soldiering is. But to go at it the way you do. <laughs> Still hammering away at me, huh, Lou? Well, that's my nature, I guess. Curious. I don't mind. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. I'll wait. I'll be with you in two shakes. <laughs> And that's the way it was ever since I was a kid. They used to call me Bones because I was so skinny. Boys wouldn't even let me play with them because if they ever roughed it up with me, I'd shatter into little pieces. Yeah, but what has size got to do with anything? After all, no, I mean, don't remember says... what kids are like anymore. I do. They can be awfully cruel. Yeah, yeah, they certainly can. You see, swimming is a big sport in my town. All the kids ever do is eat, sleep, and breathe swimming. Naturally, whenever there were races down at the lake, I was always pushed to the sidelines to watch. Maybe I didn't have a chance, but I sure would have liked to give it a try. Hmm. My pride was at stake. You know how it is when somebody says you're not good enough, you want to go in there and show them. I know just how you felt, but uh, what's all that got to do with now? It's all part of it, Lou, don't you see? Gee, if you were any more solid, you'd be a couple of brick walls. Don't kid me, buddy. You're a physical specimen. If I had the saw one, you'd swim like a tree. Well, that's all happened since I joined the Army. I've eaten more food in two years than I had in the last ten. Then you aren't kidding. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you, Lou. You see, there was only my father to look after me when Mom died. And he was too busy earning a living and taking care of his own problems without worrying about the right kind of food to give to his kids. It's a tough go when nobody's around to give the right meals to a growing kid. Dad did his best, sure. Why, there were months at a time when we wouldn't see a fresh vegetable on the table. No. He just never thought to buy them, that's all. Like my old man sometimes. When Mom's away, he'll just sit there, grab any old thing around the kitchen, eat it. As long as he puts something in his stomach, you know. But what I don't get is, what's all this got to do with today, now? That's the whole point. What is? The whole gang back home still think of me as that delicate nine-year-old kid. What? Their attitude, the way they look at me, the things they say, haven't changed even my girl. Hey, I'm beginning to understand a little better. Your interest in the right kind of child, your, your physical condition. You got all your sights dead set on one target. That's right, Lou. My target. To have people forget what I used to be. Accept me as I am today. <laughs> You mentioned in your last letter that you'd be home on leave in three weeks, but you didn't say anything about the swim carnival, which will probably take place while you're home. I guess you've forgotten about it, and I don't blame you either, because what's so important about it anyway? Of course, everybody expects Nikki Felton to win the 100-yard freestyle swim. Nikki has asked me to go to the dance afterwards to celebrate his victory, but I, I haven't given him my answer yet. Until I found out the exact date you'll be home, and I, I can tell you. Dear Bonnie, my leave should come up in a few weeks, but I can't give you a definite date now. You said in your letter that I must have forgotten about the swim carnival. Oh, that's one thing I haven't forgotten. If it's at all possible, I'll be there. I have a very important reason, which I'll tell you about when I see you. If Nikki Felton asks you again to go to the dance, 
You tell him. Oh, tell me, Jim. Let me guess. You're going back to that food book to compare the chow. <laughs> you know all my secrets, Lou. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you one thing. I don't have to look at any book to tell me that steak was great. I had seconds and thirds. Well, don't you worry, Lou. Eat all the steak you want, and it won't make you fat. Steaks are good for you. All I know is, brother, did it melt in my mouth. Oh, Coleman, the mess sergeant, he sure knows his stuff. Got every meal down to a science. Yeah. Now what, Jim? A swim? Yep. How long are you going to keep it up? You're a crackerjack swimmer already. Oh, there's always room for improvement, Lou. Look, suppose suppose your one-man crusade doesn't work out. Then what? That's a chance I've got to take. Uh, you're too serious for me, Jim. I take things as they are. Easy come, easy go. Well, maybe in time I'll... Ah, what's the difference? That's what I say. You're doing all right. You want to come down to the pool, Lou? No, no, not tonight, Jim. Just watching you wears me out. <laughs> Lengthen your stroke, Lucas. Ah, that's better. Now reach. Reach out as far as you can in your overhand. Now, Lucas, you might try to watch your elbow as you come up. Synchronize your breathing. A slow up on your kicks. Now, look, slap the wall as you're making the turn, not before. Just take it nice and easy as you go. All set, Lucas? Uh, just a second. I just want to wipe my eye with this towel. Ah. Okay, I'm all set. All right, this is for time, so give it all you got. Now on your mark, get set, Go! How did I do, Sergeant? 58.6. Oh. Hey, hey, Lucas, that's traveling for 100 yards. Oh. Hey, that's traveling for 100 yards. I didn't think I could go that fast. I knew you were making time the way you sliced through the water. Well, Lucas, I, I guess I won't see you for a couple of weeks. Yeah, leave starts tomorrow. Taking off right afternoon, Shaw. Good idea. Uh, there's good swimming this time of year in your part of the country. Plan to do any? Oh, a little. You should. You know, Lucas, I've given swim instructions to a lot of guys in this man's army, but I never had anybody go all out the way you do. It's a pleasure. Well, you've given me a lot of your time. Ah, don't mention it. That's what I'm here for. Uh, good luck on your leave. Thanks. I'll need it. Mind if I use the scale, Corporal? Yeah, with or without the luggage. <laughs> I'm going home on leave. Yeah, hey, don't tell me. Let me guess. Okay, try. Let's see. Average height, kind of lean. Muscles. Mm -hmm. Not as rocks. No stomach. Well, I'd say 160. Step right up here, mister, and guess your weight. All right, here goes. 173. Yeah, I must be losing my touch. You got muscles hidden away somewhere. <laughs> I'm sick of appraisal. It is muscles. I gained 17 pounds in the last six months. Yeah, that's what I call progress. Hey, you're living good, Lucas. Aren't we all? You are listening to the proudly we hail production, One of the Boys. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Young man, if you want to be the sort of man that others look up to, you'll get there fast if you can qualify to join the Army. You'll see a change from the very moment you put on the uniform of a United States soldier. 
You'll not only stand straighter and taller, you'll walk with the sure tread of a man who knows where he's going. Your training in the Army will give you the confidence of a man with an important job to do. You have to pass the mental and physical examinations in order to get in this oldest military service in our country. But once you're in, you're on the way up. Visit your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. There's a recruiter there who'll be very glad to tell you all about what's in it for you when you join the Army. And now we present the second act of One of the Boys. That familiar saying, an army travels on its stomach, holds more truth than meets the eye. Good food selected by experts to contain the maximum nutritional values is the key to good eating. For the soldier, food is transferred to energy, gives him the strength and stamina to stand up without flinching to the full measure of his physical ability. Dad, this is wonderful. Boy, you're doing all right as a cook. Well, don't think your letters went to waste, Jim. I followed every food tip you wrote about. Won't be long before I'm an expert. I'll well, say. Another helping, please? You know, Jim, before you joined the Army, all I thought you had to do was to slap a piece of food in the plate, and that was it. Well, there's an art to serving and preparing a good meal. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Hey, Jim, if I knew some of those things you wrote about, calories, balanced meals, and vitamins, we'd have done much better in the old days. You did your best, Dad. Eh? Hey, you want to know something? Since I took your advice and began eating the right food, I feel like a new man. You look fine. Well, how about you, Jim? Look what the Army's done for you. I bet you could pick up that piano and put it on your shoulder. <laughs> not quite, Dad, not quite. Other people in this town won't recognize Jim Lucas's boy anymore. I hope one person in this town recognizes me. Why, hmm? who, who, who do you mean? Don't you know that? <laughs> Well, you finish up everything on your plate, son. You hear me? <laughs> I hear you, Dad. And be sure you don't get home late. But if you do, well, I'll put a little snack away for you in the icebox. Well, how does it feel to be back, Jim? Pretty good. As long as you're around, Bonnie. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Uh, the same old crowd here. There's Bruno giving his imitations. Carl and Mary Darrell in the corner. Yeah. There's Nicky Felton holding court as usual among his followers. Well, it goes on like this all the time, Jim. If he came back two years from now, it would be the same. Well, I doubt it. Oh. Of course, um, Nicky is a sure bet to win the 100-yard freestyle. Here he comes over to our table. Oh, uh, hello, Bonnie. Good Hi. See you first. Hello, Jim. How's the Army? The Army's fine. How are you? Never better. Haven't you told him, Bonnie? Uh, told him what? Now I beat that hot shot swimmer from upstate last week. Congratulations. <laughs> you haven't changed, Jim. Still a boy who couldn't quite make it. I guess the Army can't change that. I don't know what you mean. Nicky Felton, you ought to be ashamed of yourself talking that way. Well, truth is true. You ought to be ashamed. Let him blow off steam, Bonnie. It's his steam. Here, Bonnie, two front row tickets to the swimming meet. You and your boyfriend can have fun watching me win the race. He's sore because I turned him down for the dance. He'll be in for the surprise of his life tomorrow. Well, I, I don't understand. I'm entered in the 100-yard freestyle. Oh, you can't be, Jim. Uh, I not only can be, but will swim tomorrow. But uh, why, Jim? You won't have a chance. Well, you... Go ahead, say it. Well, I, I can't let you, Jim. Now just leave it to me, Bonnie. It'll be all right. Have you forgotten the last time you were in the carnival? You weren't even able to finish the race. They had to fish you out. Don't you remember? I remember. I remember very well, Bonnie. I almost drowned. But you're still going to swim. That was two years ago. I've changed in two years. Oh, of all the stubborn, blind beliefs I've ever heard of. Jim Lucas, if you enter that race, and if you make a fool of yourself, I won't go to the dance with you. Nicky Felton will be more than happy to take me. I know what I'm doing. Have faith in me, Bonnie. Faith? Is that the name you give it? Just, just this once. That's all I ask. I, 
I'm too upset to talk. Goodbye. Goodbye, Barty. Here are the starters and the feature event of the afternoon. The Donald Cornwall Memorial 100-yard freestyle. In the first lane, Nick Felton, holder of the carnival record. In the second lane, Lance Porter. In the third lane, Chester Lowry. In the fourth lane, Duff Morris. And in the fifth lane, the outside lane, Jim Lucas. On your mark. Get set. Come on, Mickey! Come on, Mickey! Go get him, Porter! Go, boys! Go, boys! Go, boys! Come on, that boy! Get him, boy! Get him! Get him, boy! Get there! Results of the 100 yard freestyle swim. The winner, Jim Lucas. In second place, Nick Felton. Third, Chester Lowry. The time, 58 and 5 10 seconds, creating a new carnival record. Nice going, Jim. Good boy, Jim. Hey, Jim, terrific. Oh, that was a big stretch of open water you left behind at the finish, Jim. Why, you smacked the wall almost the same time I did. Congratulations. Thanks. Lowry's at a... Pretty fast pace. Thought you'd fold after 50 yards and just stayed with it. And you churned past me near the finish, and I, I almost blacked out. Guess I just about made it. Just one of those days, Nick. I was lucky. No, no. Nobody breaks the carnival record on luck. Look, how did it happen? I, I didn't think you had a chance in a million. How did it happen overnight? It didn't happen overnight. Well, I heard the Army performing miracles, but this beats them all. <laughs> well, it's a... It's a long story, Nick. I'll, I'll tell it to you sometime. Be glad to listen. Hey, come on. Go into the showers? In a few minutes, as soon as I get organized. I'll wait. Take your time. I got no place to go anyway. I, uh, I saw the race. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I died a thousand times. Can't you tell my throat hurts from cheering? Oh, oh gee, Jim, I'm so proud of you. Fine. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, why didn't you tell me you had a right to be in the race? Why? Well, I, I, I tried to, Bonnie. You just wouldn't listen. Well, oh, I guess I'm like all the rest of this town. Always thinking what you used to be. Not looking at you. Really looking at you the way you are today. Uh, Jim? Yes, Bonnie? I, I'm not going to the dance with Mickey. Why? I never intended to at any time. I want you to know that. That's good news. Do you ever speak to me again? <laughs> I'd like to see someone stop me. Son, take a look at the morning paper. Okay. Name's all over the place. <laughs> hey, you're a real hero around this town. 
Well, it's not as bad as that, Dad. Just because I want a swimming ring. Oh, no, I know what I'm talking about. People stop me all day today to congratulate me. And you know something, son? I can't even swim a stroke. You're a big man, son. Yes, sir. Well, I don't care about that, Dan. Not about being a big man. All I ever wanted was to be one of the boys. <laughs> well, don't worry about that, Jim. You were always one of the boys. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh, Jim, Jim, I, I've been meaning to ask you. In one of your letters, you raved about a salad your mess sergeant made. Salad? What salad are you talking about, Dad? We have them practically twice a day. Well, here, I got the letter right in my pocket. Now, let me see. Where's... Yeah, here it is. You take some celery, yeah. and you cut it up. Mm -hmm. And you take some apples, and... Well, I got all the ingredients in the kitchen. Come on, Jim, will you help me oh, out? Oh, sure, I'll be glad to, Dad. There's nothing to it, as long as you have the fresh vegetables. Jim, you coming? Yeah, about ready, Lou. What are we having for chow? You seen a menu? No, no, I haven't seen it today. What's the difference? The food speaks for itself. I know. Just curious. Well, let's go, curious. I'm starved. The high quality of army food plus the degree of skill that goes into the preparation of the wide variety of menus makes each meal a special treat. Good food combined with sound physical conditioning develops soldiers with strong, healthy bodies, enables them to meet any test they may be called upon to face on any field, anywhere. A man with money to invest doesn't splurge it wildly on the first thing he sees. If he's wise, he looks around and decides on a solid stock, one with a past history that's always been progressive. A stock with a real future. All right, let's say you're a young man, a high school graduate. You want to invest yourself in the best future. Well, the United States Army offers you the best opportunity for your investment. Your dividends will be high as you become a part of the world's greatest army. In travel in schools, in scientific advancement and technology, you'll reap the reward of your investment. Even more satisfying, our country will share in a mutual benefit. Visit your local recruiting station today. Invest wisely in your future with the United States Army. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking and inviting you to tune in the same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>